today's Madden 16 Ultimate Team tip, we're going to be taking a look at how to read the defense in Madden NFL 16. And to do this, I want to show you guys uh, how to practice reading the defense. And uh, so I want to kind of walk through step by step. So first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into practice mode uh, with two controllers. So we've got two controllers synced up here, uh, and, uh, and we're going to take a look at this. So, uh, you know, we're going to just use... It doesn't really matter what team uh, you pick. What I like to do is pick a team uh, that has a good quarterback and decent uh, receivers with good route running. That's what you want to look for in an offense. The Green Bay Packers are an excellent team uh, to utilize. Now, we've been uh, building an offense out of the Kansas City Offensive Playbook, and uh, I want to go ahead and share this with you uh, through their playbook. But I, you know, you can use this con these concepts that you're going to learn today from pretty much any. Uh, from pretty much any playbook uh, that you're going to encounter. Uh, defensively, it really doesn't matter. I personally would recommend going with New England this season. I'm also, uh, in our free defensive guide for Madden Ultimate Team, uh, I'm going to be taking a look at some, uh, some some defenses we can utilize out of the nickel strong. And uh, so we'll be that'll be coming to the channel sh soon, so be sure to hit that subscribe button uh, if you guys want to keep updated uh, for those videos because the nickel strong is uh, one of the better defenses since the patch and you can use that out of the cover two playbook and I'm pretty sure you can also use that out of the multiple but I may be mistaken but we're going to be using cover two today uh, for the defense now you know the offense we go with is it doesn't really matter uh, I recommend St. Louis uh, if you're not going to use Kansas City St. Louis is really really good I have an ebook on St. Louis and uh, and you could find that uh, in the description that ebook in my opinion is going to expand on the concepts that I'm going to present to you today and I hope that that's going to be helpful. Fairly inexpensive guide. But uh, anyway, I want to go ahead and load this up. Why do we choose the Denver Broncos? In my opinion, you want to practice against the best secondary, uh, especially considering man coverage. Man coverage is a definite, uh, a definite defense you're going to have to face. And, uh, and so that's why we choose to practice against man-to-man -man coverage. Now, we're not going to show you a whole lot of play breakdowns. Uh, what we're going to want to be doing is we're going to analyze basically one of our foundational plays that we talked about in our Madden Ultimate Team free guide. And we're gonna be taking that play and we're gonna analyze how to now take the play from practice mode into a game. And uh, what you wanna do is that next step in, in, in progressing. And in my, I would argue that this is probably the hardest and most important part uh, of anything that you're gonna be doing. So uh, what we're gonna to wanna to do here, we're gonna come out in just a basic quarter defense. Uh, and what I like to do is, I like to kind of put the worst pass rushers in the game uh, because if you guys have any experience with practice mode, quite honestly, it is very difficult uh, to get time in the pocket in practice mode just just because the game is that way. And uh, and so I like to you know I like to do everything that I can uh, you know to kind of help myself along in that process. So what you want to do if you're uh, when you're loading up your defense here is you want to come out in a cover four. And so what you're going to do is you're going to have a cover four, a cover three, a cover two, a cover two man under and a man pressure. Uh, some people also like to come out in the cover three blitzes, but for my money, I'm gonna say go cover four. It's gonna give you access to all of the generic coverages, pretty much the strongest coverages that you're gonna face. And then you wanna pick your offensive play, and, and, and what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be showing you how to go, uh, how to use, we, we talked a lot about the bunch week in the uh, free ebook that we did. Again, if you wanna check that ebook out, we should have a link in the description uh, and that's going to give you access to a playlist that you're going to be able to, 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 to utilize as a resource. But one of the major plays that we talked about in this guide uh, is the ability to use the play. Uh, you know, we can use so many plays to talk about this. But what I want to do, the one I want to do today, um, is I want to talk about uh, Z-Spot. And, uh, and we're just going to give you a generic way to set this play up. It doesn't really matter the setup. What matters is what we're going to do with it, okay? So what we've got here first and foremost, is we want to check out the bunch. And what we want to do is two things. The first thing we want to do is, first of all, recognize that when the defense is man-aligned, as you can see here, the corners I just man-aligned, and they are not moving. So that's important to realize because what it basically means is you're always going to have inside position unless they man-align and call press coverage. Once they call press coverage, it's going to change things. Okay, so those are important realizations to make when you're first coming out. You want to go through all of those things. You want to look at, uh, for example, you want to look at what, what does the defense look like if they base align. So if you can see here, this is an example where they base align. And as you can see, 
the, the defense is now backed off, and then if they press. And this is going to, all of these tools are going to give you advantages and disadvantages uh, as an offense, but the biggest thing that it's going to do as far as the advantages go is it's going to give you information. Most of the time, whenever a defense base aligns, there's two things that's happening. The first thing that's happening is they're more than likely going to be in zone coverage. The second thing that's happening is that they're more than likely sending pressure. Okay, so those are two keys that can really help you dissect what the defense is trying to do uh, at the pre-snap menu. That's why we chose the bunch, and that's why snugs and bunch formations are always going to be some of the best formations in Madden because they give you access to that information. And what that now does is it can get you into a good matchup, and that's the key, getting into good matchups pre-snap. That's where you use your knowledge, and then using your abilities to read the defense after the snap after the ball is hiked, that's the key. Okay, so those are a couple of big concepts that I want to kind of unpack in, a, in later videos, so be sure to stay tuned to that. But uh, what I want to do is give you a brief overview. We're going to go into specifics uh, as this series kind of goes on, as we kind of wrap up the, the, uh, the, the uh, guide. But as you can see, you know, the, the, this is kind of the foundation to, to at least come to this understanding. Now, the next thing that you're going to want to look at is if they, if they move anybody. For example, uh, sometimes uh, stock, so for example, if I, if I came out and say a safety zone blitz, it could, it, it, you know, it may, this is just a generic, this is just something that it may look like. We'll do it from a cover three, okay? And what I want you to see is this. So, so this is the stock zone blitz. Now, when they, if they, you know, say they show blitz, right? What you see is that the safety comes down off this edge. Now, a lot of defenses, okay, and I want to clarify this in a moment, but a lot of defenses, when they come into this type of appearance right here, right, this type of appearance, their man aligned, the safety runs down. That means that they're normally in some kind of safety pressure on the side that the safety came down. So that, for example, like this guy, TJ Ward, he's not in an optimal blitzing position because he's backed off. But a guy like, uh, but, but this safety right here, uh, Darian Stewart, he's in optimal blitzing position. And so what that tells me from, the immediate, from an immediate perspective is, okay, I see this. And what this basically means is there's a possible blitz coming from the left. There's also a possible blitz from, coming from the right. As you can see, I have two flat routes set up. And he sends pressure left, and I'm able to hit the ball, hit, get the ball to the back quick, safe passing, and it gets me upfield four to five yards. Okay, so I know this is a small example, and there's several, several nuances to this, but, but this is a foundation. Okay, you want to recognize when is he moving people? Where are they going? What does that, where does that make his defense weak? And that's the key question: Where is his defense weak, and where can my offense attack that? Okay, so I, I hope that that helps a little bit. Now, what I want to do. Uh, for this last half, because we're already kind of over the time that I wanted to talk about this, what I want to talk about now is the ability that you have as an offense to basically be able to truly, uh, uh, to truly, you know, read the defense post snap. I want to hit on this just for a brief moment, and and then we'll be done for today. We're going to go into specifics because this is kind of that next step, in my opinion, to developing yourself as an offense. Uh, first, you have to have a good plays. You, you, you have to have solid foundational plays. The second thing that you have to do is you have to be able to execute those plays against a variety of different defenses, okay? So that's where we're at right now in the progression. Okay, so back to this real quick. What I want to talk about now is how to read the defense after the ball snapped, and I do this uh, we're gonna run up. We're gonna run the play basically as it, you know, as we would set it up. And what I want you to, we're gonna stop the tape after we complete the pass. And and, and I want to kind of go through what just happened uh, in instant replay. Okay, so we're gonna motion Nelson out, and we go middle, right, and throw. Okay, so let me just walk you through what just occurred because a lot occurred in my mind, um, and and you may not have been able to to understand or see that. All right, so when the ball is snapped, okay, what I like to do is identify potential blitzing scenarios. So, for example, with this front, the only real threat of a pressure comes from the left side or the middle A-gap, right? So I'm going to look left, middle, right, 
That's my progression. And what I do is I pick, basically what I'm trying to take advantage of is my peripheral vision. And so I pick markers on the field. I basically pick key defenders, but it's not because I want to see what that defender's doing. It's because by looking at that defender, I can see multiple other defenders. Normally for me, it starts with the safeties. And so what happens is if I look at these two, two free safeties, and I also look at the middle linebacker, okay? So I just, just stay with me here because I, this is really, really foundational to anything you're going to do as an offense. So at the snap of the ball, what happens is I look at the safety. What I can see by looking at the safety is I can see the linebacker underneath. I can see the, the corner on the far left, and I can see the safety himself. And so this is basically what I've done is I've cut the field off. So I'm not even looking. I'm hoping you're seeing this. I'm not even looking at the middle yet. I'm just looking at these guys' initial steps. What I see is they drop off into coverage. Now, I know my play well enough to know that I don't have any drags or quick crossing patterns over here in this vicinity. So then I know, okay, I have access to understand the basic coverage that they're going into here. Now my next kind of key section of the field is the middle. And I do that normally by addressing the middle linebacker, but ideally I'm mainly looking at a spot on the field. And so what I want to say by that is like, you know, I'm looking in this, uh, I can't, it's kind of hard to, to do this, but I'm looking in this vicinity of the field because what I'm, if you know the play that we just ran is called Z spot, what's going to happen is this guy right here is going to come, uh, this wide receiver on the far left is going to come in, in, in this area right here. And so by me kind of understanding where are they dropping, and so I see no, you know, I kind of, the only person that's in the middle of the field are these two safeties. Okay, so then I have access to that information, and now I move to the final stage, which is the right side, and I do the right side the same way as the left side. It just comes second, and it's really normally done off of priority more than anything else. But as you can see, now I'm looking at this right side at this point in the play, and I see, okay, I have a, and I know my routes. I know I have a flat streak corner combination on the right side of the field. I have this flat guy as you watch uh, right as I go to throw it. So right about here is where I'm kind of starting to gear up to throw this football. Um, let me see if I can show you. But, I mean, I, I understand the combination of zones that they have on the side of the field. They have two zones in the window that we're going to throw with three wide receivers. And so what happens, if I can kind of, back up a little bit here. I know this is kind of hard. I don't have a, the greatest material. But as you can see, I go to throw this ball at this point. At this point, this is where I know that I've won because I have the matchup advantage on that side of the field. And so I go to throw the ball at this point. If you look back, everything else is covered. As you can see, the defense does a good job. The, the, they have the numbers advantage everywhere else on the field. And so, as you can see here, I go to throw this ball, and it's a nice you know, just basic pass, and we're able to complete it, okay? So that zone, I want to I do a little bit more with this, but we're kind of running out of time for today. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to start, I want to kind of work through this process with you. Uh, there's one other stage that I want to talk about, but we're going to focus on these, we're going to focus on the second stage first, and then there's a final stage that we're going to talk about at the end, uh, once we get through this second stage, but the next, you know, the, a lot of you may have thought that the ebook was kind of coming to a close because we were done talking about plays. But what I want to encourage you to do is stay with these videos. In my opinion, these are the most important videos in the whole entire guide, and I wish that I would have done more with this material uh, in my actual ebook. Uh, I, I touched on it. I spent about an hour and a half on it, but I didn't spend enough time truly giving you tools to use it, and so. Hopefully this video series is going to give you tools to do use this because in my opinion this is what takes you from you know being really good at the practice mode to being amazing on the field and this is where you need to spend uh, the majority of your time once you have your scheme in place this is where all of your time needs to come so uh, so guys please stay with me on this I hope this video was helpful I know that I was a little bit uh, you know a little bit direct and enthusiastic and very driven to kind of try to get these points across. Uh, but please stay with me. Trust me, I, I come from this the most humble point, and, and I'm just trying to help you guys. I'm trying to help you get better at Madden 16. And in my, uh, my research and my past and my experience, this is the best way to do that on the offensive side of the ball. And, uh, and so we're going to run through this. We're going to supplement this material as well. Uh, we're only going to do probably one of these a week. My goal is that, that you will kind of take these in. And we're going to try to supplement it with other